Good morning, good afternoon, Facebook family and friends. Today is December the 20th, the year 2017. I'm just back from a great trip in Miami. I'll be leaving for another trip come tomorrow. Any damn way, I won't be there. I'm heading off to a very special place tomorrow. I'm excited about that. Let me turn this phone on mute. All right, so I was in Miami for a few days. Had a really nice time with a friend of mine. That's a whole other video about that disaster. Whew. I think, and I know this may offend some people, but I don't give a shit. I am 47 years of age. I've been dealing with black gay guys since I was 16, 17 years of age. That's 30 damn years. I think there's a lot of mental illness within the black gay community that just is not being dealt with. There are a lot of guys out here who are, you got some serious mental illness taking place, um, within the black gay community. It is not being dealt with. Now, I don't want this to be a rant video. So I'm trying to talk intelligently. But forgive my ignorance. But I've been having sex with men since I was about 17, 18, really about 18 years of age. I knew I was gay when I was a little kid. But in all those 30 years of having sex with men, ain't no nigga ever Pissed on me, I ain't ever pissed on no, no guy. Now, as it comes to my, I'm, I'm learning that a lot of these gay guys are into drinking men's piss. I never knew this. Now, I, you know, let me take it back. I see stuff on pornography. I see porn, I watch porn. I don't really watch porn. I look at it and say, it's a fake mess. It's a bunch of crazy shit. So what I'm learning is that these guys actually are into drinking a man's piss, a man that you just met five minutes ago. You don't even know who he is. You don't plan on ever seeing him again. You go into a place or met him off some hookup site or someplace. You go over there and have sex with the person you drink his piss. Okay. Now, you're running all over town drinking men's piss. But, but if... <laughs> You walk into a restaurant, you don't eat this. You don't eat fried foods. You don't eat pork. You don't eat that. You got this list of shit. We walk into a restaurant, you can't find nothing on the menu that you want to eat because everything's against you, you, your palate. You can't eat none of this stuff. You can't eat this. You can't eat that. But you'll go over to a nigga's house and drink his motherfucking piss. Now, that ain't some nasty shit. Now, like I said, forget my ignorance, y'all, because I don't know. I didn't know this is what people were into anymore. Because I'm asking questions, people like, and they're like, oh, yeah, that's what they like. I'm like, wow. What joy? Please help me. What joy do you get out of drinking somebody's piss, their urine? How exciting is this to go to a man's house? You don't know this mother from, you don't know this man from a can of paint. Never met him. Don't know him. But you go over to his house, he fucks you in your ass, without a condom in most cases, then you drink his damn piss. But you don't eat fried chicken. But you're drinking niggas piss. Do y'all understand me? Guys, hello? Is anybody there? These niggas have lost their damn minds. No nigga at that. Now nah, let me get this straight, y'all. I've been real for 21 years, damn near. We did some every goddamn thing in the bed. But that nigga ain't never pulled out his dick and said, Walter, well, I want to piss on you. And I ain't never said he was going to play. I ain't never said, girl, can I piss on you? What in the fuck? Now, unfortunately, yeah, I have been laying in bed right next to Earl, and I accidentally peed in the damn bed. That's close to the piss. I guess that's the closest to piss. We ever came and I wake up like, oh shit, I done wet the damn bed. And it didn't happen a couple times. I say, I have to wake her up. Like, we got to go to the other room. My ass and took the sleeping pill and drank some, something before I went to bed. And a disaster didn't happen over there. So let's just get on up. Don't ask no questions. Take your pillow with you and leave it there. With my, I, let me, I take care of this in the morning. Go to the other room. Thank God we had other beds to choose from. That's the closest to peeing that ever took place between me and that damn man. And that was strictly by accident. That was not intended on, on purpose at all. Now I know to empty my bladder before I go to bed. And when I'm in bed and I get that dream, y'all know that dream. 
a dream that keeps standing over the toilet pissing. You just over there, just, you, ooh, this is the best. I'm peeing and I feel so much better. And you wake up and go, oh, shit. Now I catch myself. I say, ooh, I had that dream. I jump up. I don't, I, I wake up. When that dream started, I said, okay, it's time to get out of this damn bed. But I learned also to try, I try not to drink. Another problem is I was taking that blood pressure pill at nighttime. It was, it was at a water pill in it. That shit make my ass. I tore that bed up. I throw that mattress away. Throw that one in the trash can. Because it was bad. Life happens. Man, nigga ain't never pissed on me. I'm not going to drink your piss. I mean, I'm just trying to figure this out. Piss connoisseurs. I'll have the vegan piss. Sir, would you like that piss on the rocks? Oh, no, I'll take it straight from the penis. But you don't eat fried chicken and you don't eat pork and you can't eat this and you can't eat that and you don't want to eat here and you're not going to this restaurant and that don't look sanitary and I would eat there, but you drink a nigga's piss. Help me understand this. He just piss all over and you just drinking it just to have you a good old time with it. Nasty motherfucking dog. <sighs> Y'all, I don't want this to be a vent video. I'm just trying to get clarification, educate me enough, me understand what kind of joy and excitement. Because I'm, I'm, if somebody's going to ask me to piss on them, I'd probably be like, okay, what the fuck is going on? Because I talked to a buddy of mine last night. And he came over to visit me. And I asked him about it. I said, have you ever pissed on somebody? He said, yeah. I said, you have? He said, yeah. I said, well, why? He said, they asked me to. So I said, I accommodated them. I said, so they asked you to piss on you, and you just got on up, whipped your dick out, pissed on you. He said, mm -hmm. I said, well, where'd y'all do this at? He said, oh, they had blankets and towels, and, you know, they had special blankets and stuff for this. And, and, and so y'all did this. I said, where? He said, oh, right in the living room. They put the towel down, laid on the floor. I pissed all over him. This is one of my friends, a very handsome, attractive guy, educated. I'm thinking, okay, how do I not know all this? Why am I sitting here looking like Willie Lump Lump? Of course, this guy's younger than me by 10, 15 years. I'm 48, so he's probably in his 30s. 30, 30, he's in his 30s. And that could be this is generational. Because all these guys getting pissed on, they're a whole lot younger than me. I'm sure there's probably some guy, I don't know, but it could, probably could have been happening, but nobody ever said shit to me. Nobody ever walked in the room and said, Walter, I want you to give me the piss special. It's piss all over me. Never happened. I've had some requests for some, I think, bizarre stuff. Mainly unprotected sex. I want you to fuck me out of condom. But piss? Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm thinking that this is... Maybe, maybe because somebody... I spoke to a friend of mine who's a medical doctor. I said, you know, did you know these guys drink a piss around? He said, well, we talked about it. He was like, you know, they say piss, urine is kind of sterile. I'm thinking, it is... So yeah, I mean, you know, it's been filtered through your kidneys. I'm like, mm, okay, never thought about that way. This is part of your, this, but this is part of the sex. He, he, I, this, this, uh, yeah, I'm still confused. I am so lost. But what I'm finding is that this is what a lot of these guys are into. Because the more I ask questions, y'all like to ask questions. So I'm going, when this popped up, I said, let me go ask some motherfucking questions. I'm kind of confused about this shit. Have you pissed on somebody today? I know I didn't pissed off a few people today, but I ain't pissed on nobody ever. So I'm like, okay. And people tell me, oh, yeah. There ain't nothing wrong to me. I didn't pissed all over these niggas. They didn't drink my piss and every damn thing. I'm thinking, these guys who just met. Oh, yeah, most times. He said, I'm going to keep a hole like that. That's just a hole. That's just something you, you know, when you, when you want that type of shit, that mean you need to drink everybody's piss. You pee all, you piss on them and send them out the door. Never see them again or something. <sighs> but you don't, you, this is the funny part. I keep going back to this, this, this funny thing about the foods that you don't eat. I don't want to put this in my mouth. I know what it is. I don't do that. Mm -mm, too good for this. But you drink a nigga's piss all night long. What is going on here? And it's got to irritate the stomach and your throat and every damn thing else. You don't even know these people? That would nauseate me. I'd be throwing up. Because I was so appalled by it. 
And y'all forgive me because a lot of y'all probably watch this video like, well, today ain't nothing. But I, excuse me, but it's something to me. I didn't know what these niggas were doing. I don't know what these straight folks out here doing. I have to get out of here. I got to go question my straight friends. Have you ever pissed on a bitch? Did, you, did she ask you to pee on her? Are you into this type of what they call them water sports? Because I got to go out here now. You know, I got to go all my straight friends. Now, I wish I had to ask them before I did this video, but that's okay. I'll do a follow-up because I want to know. Are these women cool with getting pissed on? Are they asking these folks? Because get, get these gay folks into some crazy shit. They're in all kinds of crazy shit. From fisting to all kinds of stuff. You got some niggas that run around here trying to ram this shit up their damn ass. They like that crazy shit. They do all kinds of shit. Stick, stick a pine cone up their ass or something. I don't know shit. You know, I, look. If you looking to have sex with me every day, y'all going to, you, you probably, if I'm not into any of that freaky stuff. Sex is going to be very conservative and boring. You might find me to be lame and boring in bed. But I didn't want to. He whack. You damn skippy, I'm whack. Because I'm not going to run up out of here. You ain't going to run up out of leave me with no disease. Have me sick as a damn dog. Sit up on dialysis over at Grady Hospital. Ain't going to happen. Because that is what happens if you continue to drink niggas piss. You're going to mess up your own kidneys. But you're a piss drinker. You like drinking niggas piss. Boy, y'all, you could have knocked me over when I found that out. I was like, what in the... What did nigga told me this? Because I had heard this in the rumor mill. But when they told me the truth. When I found out the truth, I was in shock. You drink your niggas piss. It leaves me speechless. Like I said, for some of y'all, and I don't know if drinking piss is morally wrong or not like that. Everybody has different morals. But you ain't going to piss on me. And I ain't going to piss on you. Under any circumstances. Nowhere. I don't care if you got special blankets. I don't care if you're in the bathroom. It ain't happening. I guess I'm not signed into that kind of freaky, kinky shit. I just like normal, regular, everyday gay sex. Sue me. All this other shit, playing in body fluids and nastiness and stuff. Y'all don't even do hookups. Never have. Have no desire to. But these guys give fuck by anything, any old body. And I'm not talking about no, these ain't no ugly brothers. These are nice, attractive guys. I wish y'all could see these messages I get on a daily basis from these homosexuals around Atlanta. They hit me up with some of the most foul shit, and I just look at it. I read this mess and I think, oh boy, these guys lost. I read that shit. And so, I read that shit and read it. I read that shit and I just say, oh boy, this is some shit. Now, so I guess, it's a, I, I, again, I keep going back to this. I know that, I think the problem is very simple. The porn industry has created this, these, um, the porn industry has created a lot of, um, who how can I describe it? The porn industry has warped a lot of these black gays' minds. Because see, when I came out, it was about condoms and protection. Nobody wants to use a condom anymore. You know, people don't give a shit. Everybody's into threesomes and foursomes and group sex. So most of the time without a condom or raw sex. That's why this HIV rate is sky high. Y'all waiting for me to bring up HIV, you know? I don't think you can get HIV from drinking piss, but I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Let's go Google that now, too. Can you get HIV from drinking piss? Nasty motherfuckers. Excuse me, but this, that's just some nasty shit. I'm sorry. I'm just sorry. For, forgive me. But if that's what y'all into these days, y'all can keep that shit. Y'all can keep that mess. I'm going to stay piss free. That ain't in my diet. And it ain't gonna touch on me either. Unless I just happen to piss the bed one night. I'm not, and I actually did not. I can't make it to so I wake up. Oh shit. I don't even lay there and marinate it. And no, I get my ass on that shit and wet this damn bed. Let's get up and go. And don't sit there and act like you ain't pissed the bed your damn self. You're telling a damn lie. Because I know a lot of y'all have pissed that damn bed. Just like my drunk ass did those nights when I did that. I'm just willing to fess up, fess up to my pissiness. I don't do it no more because I avoid that. I was taking that water pill. I don't take no type of 
Blood pressure pill, water pretty nighttime because you'd be peeing all night long. You'd be running to that damn bathroom, run to that bathroom, can't even sleep. You'd run to the bathroom. Now I piss all day long. Take that, I take my blood pressure pill in the morning time, literally piss all day. It's gotten better, but it's, uh, you, I got to find a bathroom. Have me a cup of coffee. Should I be pissing all over the damn place? At the pull over side of the road. I can't make it. I have to run around here. I got some good pics for the hands if they have wanted some. So what do you do? You guzzle up down some piss. So if you go over to somebody's house, I'm going to piss on this nigga. So I'm going to drink me some Gatorade. I'm going to drink some water. Stuff that doesn't make you want to pee. Let me pop two water pills. That make me piss for a couple of hours. Help me understand. I'm lost. Have we really gotten that? Have we really fallen that fall down the rabbit hole? And when I start talking to these gay guys, asking questions, nobody has yet said, well, it is what it is, Walter. That's what the guys want. Like my friend told me, oh, yeah, I, I didn't piss on them. And they asked me to piss on I, I piss all over the ass. I said, you don't feel any kind of way about this? He said, yeah, but, you know, that's what they want. They enjoy it. So I'm going, you know, I didn't got the ass and got what I wanted. Now I'm piss on the ass. Like, even before I, I, he was running all this shit down to me. And I'm sitting there like this. What? I didn't know all this stuff. I just, y'all, I didn't know. I see stuff taking place on porn and I'm thinking, okay. You know, a lot of this porn, these porn actors, they'll do anything. You out here drinking niggas pissing, you ain't got two dimes from the nigga. You ain't collect one red sip, you went over there, gave up the booty, got fucked in the ass, all over the damn place, drank the niggas piss, and walked out that door without collecting five bucks for all your damn pornography services live in person. You ain't got nothing but a stomach full of piss. Help me understand. What is this world coming to? I don't get it. I don't get it. And this is tea, by the way. Not hot piss. Hot tea. It's about the closest thing to go hot, hot, hot coffee and hot tea. Hot piss? No. I'm not into that type of stuff. I can't, and never would I do that. And I guess that's why, I, you know, that's why I meet these guys, and they, they kind of shy away from me as they get to know me, they feel like some kind of a conservative person. They vanish. They beat it. But they make me out there, you, Walter, you're this type of person. You're lame. You're whack. You're this. You're that. Because I ain't going to piss on your ass. Or ram this vase up your damn ass. Where the normal people at? You know, me and Earl, we going through our changes. I've been going through this for years and years and years. I just keep saying, try to, it's, it's either deal with him or be by myself. Because I can't deal with this other trash out here in these streets. There's just too much trash out here. I'm trying to hammer off this all this stuff out with Earl. I'm trying my best. It ain't been easy. I'm getting old. Child. I'm tired. I want some peace and happiness. When that song about Marvin Gaye, something happened. Who think that damn song? Well, somebody was singing that. Love and happiness. That's all I'm looking for. Not piss and pissy sheets. Well. I can go on and on and on about this. <laughs> but I don't, like I said, I don't want to turn back to that's some nasty shit. And it saddens me that some of these younger guys, this is what they're into. Because they're doing nothing with their lives here. And y'all, listen to me, please. These black gay guys running around Atlanta are doing nothing with their lives. But having sex, 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 Sex hopping from dick to dick to dick. They're not trying to focus on the career, school. They can't make. They can't do nothing but focus on getting some damn penis in their ass or mouth. So they are to me. They ain't got no money, no income, no job. Again, some are doing okay, but the vast majority of these guys, mm mm, disaster. It's like they stuck on a Titanic. Down to the section where you know you ain't getting no white vote. You know what to say about these gay guys? Everybody's attacking me. Wow, to you. Somebody just did another attack video about me, too. Some nigga, some, I, I need to... He did an old attack video about me. 
I just saw that mess. I saw it, it was did a few days ago. Um, he took my video that I made and he twisted all my words around. I twisted everything around. It was like he heard what he wanted to hear. And he did this um, attack video called Walter Must Be Stopped or something along those lines. I'm trying to find it now. And it was a stupid whack video. And if you watch it, and I encourage you to at least go watch it, lies. And then watch the video that he was complaining about. He didn't understand a word I said. He risked everything that he said in that video was inaccurate. Oh, here it is. Walter Lee Hampton must be stopped. And it's by a YouTuber, guy who's HIV positive. You know how they get all upset and they with HIV. They can't live a normal life, so they run about pissed they about Blazon. B L A S I A N F N A. Walter Lee Hampton must be stopped. Oh, he had a lot to say. He didn't like. He didn't. Yeah, he's, he didn't. He did Y'all listen to that mess. But you positive, buddy. I'm sitting here negative. I ain't never had shit. You half my age or younger. You didn't know. But you pissed at me. You pissed at the wrong person. Here we go using that piss word again. You angry with the wrong person. And then you misunderstood everything I said in that damn video. You twisted my words so far around. I was like, what is this man talking about? What you, Will, what you talking about? Just ignorant. Go back and listen to the video again. But anyway, the video is entitled, Walter Lee Hampton Must Be Stopped. He posted this on November 25th. Walter Lee Hampton's approach to HIV and AIDS is reckless, and I addressed it in this video. Nigga, I have a seat. Have several seats. Reckless to tell people to use economy and protection and not run around and fucking everything and everything walking, everything and everybody walking down the street. Nigga, sit down. If I slap you down, I can't stand these damn sissies. They get on my fucking nerves. They're a bunch of ignorant motherfuckers. They're dangerous. They all sick as a damn dog running around here. Just had a nigga die around here in Atlanta. 33 years of age, died of AIDS right here in Atlanta. But nobody talks about this stuff. They act like it doesn't exist till they die from it. Oh, everything's great. People are living long, healthy lives. I could tell you some stories about folks I know right now who are sick and in the hospital and not doing well at all. Bruises and sores all over their damn body. What happened? I thought y'all said these folks were living long, healthy lives with this shit. Let me stop. I'm trying to do a rant video and I don't want to rant about that. But something's wrong with these guys. So I stay away from them. I see these gay guys coming across the street. You can have the sidewalk. Because your minds are fucking warped. I was in the gym today and guys were going to be rolling their eyes and stuff. What, what nigga, what's wrong with you? Because I ain't did shit to your motherfucking ass. You need to be looking at all these mirrors around here. Roll your eyes at your damn self. Because whatever's going on in your life is because of your own fault. Not mine. So no since you roll your eyes, I don't even know you. Oh, they be giving some nasty looks. I don't pay these sissies no damn attention. Yeah, he, he, had a, he had a lot to fucking say. He's an ignorant motherfucker. But we disagree. I never agree with these guys about HIV and AIDS because it's something you can avoid and you don't want under any circumstances. It's just like having high diabetes and you don't want that either. I heard nobody woke up. But I mean, Lord help me. Yeah, I'm tired. I just got back from Miami. I'm wore out. I've been ripping and running. Went to the gym. Had a great workout. I'm sitting over here sweating this damn shirt now, too. It's hot in this damn house. Any old way, I am about to get up from here and take me a nap at 5.30 in the evening. I've been ripping and running all day. I did make it to the gym. I'm going to go right back out of town tomorrow. I'll be back first of the year. If you like my videos, click like. Share them with family members and friends. I'd love to hear you all's thoughts and opinions about today's video. I'm going to title this video. Some people prefer prefer being pissed on than pissed off. I think that would be an appropriate title. Yeah. Anyway, I'm out of here and spending enough time on this shit. Today is Wednesday, December 20th, the year is 2017. It's almost Christmas time. I look up. I ain't got not one Christmas gift. Then came over to this house yet. What y'all waiting for? 
If you don't get my packages delivered, I ain't gonna get my Christmas gifts. But I prefer cash. You can put it to my PayPal account. Walter Lee, Walter Hampton the second, that's with a two at gmail.com. Send me cash if you want to send me a gift. Walter Hampton two, that's where I have W A L T E R H A M P T O N, the number two at gmail.com. That's my PayPal account. I gladly take cash donations. I can use that cash. Anyway, we got it. Man, a lot of shit I need to do over here. I wash clothes. And Earl was good. Earl ain't the most. I gotta clean these house, these floors, these damn dogs. I got some work to do, y'all. I'm out of here. Enjoy your wins. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.